please check out my Redbubble store if you would like to get my art as prints, t-shirt, tote bags, stickers and so on. There is a lot of products to choose from. Check out the link in the description box below and there will also be a 15% discount code for you guys to use. Thank you! Hi everyone! So yeah, let's open another smart art box. And this one has apparently already been unboxed by the Swedish Customs, so they didn't make a video out of it though, so that is up to me. Also, thank you so much Smart Art for sending me this. I am not sponsored, but there will be a link in the description box below if you would like to check it out yourself. Anyway, let's open this again. <laughs> Oh, it isn't that bad. I was a little worried that the customs would have messed things up, but it looks just as usual. So we have this gorgeous tissue paper. Oh, a little greeting from the customs. That's nice. I find it funny that they actually put it inside the tissue paper and not on top of it. But so yeah, we have this little pamphlet or booklet with a different project that you can do using the tools in the box. We'll get some prompts and challenges. Then we have illustrator markers from Spectrum Noir and I have actually tried these before. Oh and we have a little sticker hiding. They got a brush nib and a tiny little bullet nib. We got them in four different skin tone colors or natural colors but I guess skin tone is natural so and here they are with this kind of hexagon shape. We have the brush nib and the tiny, tiny little bullet nib. Got them in the colors apricot, caramel, cocoa and burnt orange. I have actually made a review of these illustrator markers. So if you want to check that out, I will have a link to it here somewhere. Oh, and we have some more illustrator markers. And these are the basic set. So we have kind of the primaries and a purple and we got them in Karen yeah, Karen-y, canary poppy denim and deep pink so it isn't really purple i suppose is that a hair on my marker and then we have some more markers. These are the Derwent Academy. And as we established in the previous smart art video, the Derwent Academy is like student grade art supplies. So, oops. So I guess they are more affordable for aspiring artists. So yeah, a little cheapish looking to be honest, but that doesn't mean that they are bad or anything. Oh, there are little images on them to describe the nib, I suppose. Is that one of those kind of flexible plastic nibs? Let's see. Yeah, it is. And we have a chisel nib. Yep. And a bullet nib. And a eyeliner nib. Yeah. I kind of wish they would have put a brush nib instead of a chisel nib in there, but oh well. A zebra 0.5 millimeter um, mechanical pencil is the word I'm looking for with a little eraser in the cap. Yeah, feels like a decent mechanical pencil. Then we have this, which I'm very curious about. And these are the um, brain seal, brain seal from Holland. 12 soft grip color pencils. So they are only soft to hold. It is interesting that they choose to promote that they are soft to hold, but there is nothing about the core or anything. Ah, it is actually a brand by Royal Talents. They make really good art supplies. So wow, they look a little dirty to be honest. They got this triangular ergonomical shape and they actually have very nice and soft coating on them. They look a little cheapish perhaps, there are no color name on them or anything, but we got them in a lovely range of colors. We got the tiniest little lollipop, tropical fruit flavored. And then lastly we got some illustration board from Crescent, perfect for all pencil, color pencil, pastel and ink. We got them in a set of Free. It's kind of like a thick cardboard paper. There is a little bit of texture, but it is almost completely smooth. This will be interesting. And I guess to be able to swatch these art supplies properly, I will have to use one of these art boards. I'm gonna see if I can cut just a little piece off so I can save the rest of it. Yay, it did actually work with a little bit of force. Now I have a little swatch piece. So let's try the... The mechanical pencil, yep, works perfectly. 
the pins. They actually have a little bit of a smell to them, so my guess is that this is actually alcohol-based markers or oil-based or whatever. Eyeliner one. These are definitely alcohol-based and you can tell that they are alcohol-based because they have this smell to them and they are also spreading in the fibers of the paper or the board so I kind of like the Spectrum Noir illustrator markers but something that I noticed when doing the review of them is that the nib is actually a little more flimsy and bendy than I like it to be so it can be a little hard to control sometimes they are also very squeaky. Also, let's try it with the uh, pens. The pens isn't reacting with the markers at all, so that is great. And then we have the neutral colors. Yeah, there we have those. And something that I've noticed with Spectrum Noir markers is that the actual color of the ink may look a little differently from the color of the cap. So it is good to swatch them before using them to see what they actually look like. And lastly, we have the color pencils. As I said, they look a little cheapish, but that doesn't mean that they can't be good. So let's see. It actually looks quite pigmented. I have to say that it actually looks pretty good on this illustration board paper thing. So there we have them. They do have a little bit of a shiny waxy look to them. I don't know if they are wax based or oil based but they do actually look pretty nice and vibrant and colorful. So yeah I think this might be interesting to work with. Let's try to create something. So I got a little inspired by one of the prompt words in the smart art booklet, which was tentacle. Also, I didn't notice it at first, but there was apparently a little drawing tutorial in the booklet where they drew a girl with tentacle hair. It is very similar to this piece that I'm drawing, but I didn't see it until afterwards. But great mind think alike, I suppose. So yeah, an octopus hair person. I thought of the hair kind of like dreads almost. I really like the high and a bit bulky shape that dreads in a bun or ponytail creates. It is so cool. So I wanted to add that to my drawing, but this is tentacles obviously and not dreads. I usually trace my sketches from the iPad by putting a paper over the screen and just draw on top of it. But this artboard, it is a little thicker, so it isn't that see-through. So I had to use my nifty little etcher mirror thingy. It is like a plastic piece that you put between the iPad and the paper that you're tracing to. And the screen of the tablet will be mirrored onto the plastic and then you can use the reflection and draw after it like tracing. I have a whole video of testing this thing out so I will leave a link to it here somewhere if you would like to check it out yourself. I actually didn't use the mechanical pencil to sketch with. I don't know what it is, but I really don't like sketching with softer lead, which it usually is in mechanical pencils. I think it is at least HB or 2B lead, which is a little softer. I prefer 2H lead, which is harder and lighter, easier to erase. Especially on this illustration artboard, I noticed that the mechanical pencil and the very thin and sharp nib it dug into the board and made it hard to erase so I used my own pencil Anyway, let's talk about the coloring. It was a very interesting experience to draw with markers on this board. It looks a little streaky after one layer only, but when layering it multiple times, it looks a little better. But I really like the velvety look of the markers on this illustration board. It was a very nice surprise. It gives a very, very soft and beautiful texture. 
I chose the lighter of the natural tones for this character. I was first thinking of making the skin tone a little darker, but since I wanted to use the purple for the hair or the tentacles, I was afraid that the two tones would be too similar and blend into each other. The purple is more of a darker mid-tone and it would have clashed with the darker natural tones, which is also a darker mid-tone kind of. Also, it was a little strange to blend the markers on this paper. It worked okay, but it was a little harder than on regular paper, so I had to work a little more on the blending. I chose yellow for the inner part of the tentacles, the suction cups. I actually googled it and it seems like the common word or name for the suction cups is suckers, which seems kind of logical. So yeah, yellow suckers. Yellow and purple works very nice together I think. Also I saved the line art till after the coloring. I didn't want to risk the line art to smudge with the markers but honestly I do think it is much more relaxing to do the line work afterwards. It doesn't bother me as much if I would mess up a line or two when the colors are already there. There is so much tension around line work for me that is why I prefer to do it digitally most of the time. And then after that I went in with the color pencils to add some more depth and shading and texture and not my favorite color pencils if I'm gonna be totally honest. They felt a little too waxy but that is just my personal preferences. They are very nice and pigmented so I can't really complain about that. Also, I was thinking about this person's hairstyle. They have a side cut, like the side of the head is shaved, and I wonder if that is just a hairstyle that this kind of octopus hair people are born with, or if they have actually cut off the tentacle to achieve this hairstyle, and in that case, would that hurt to cut off the tentacles, and would it be considered a body modification? I don't know, let me know what you think. I should really know because I'm the one that created this character, but anyway, here they are. I hope you like this octopus tentacle person. So this piece was actually suggested by my dear Patreons. I posted a picture of the swatches of the art supplies over at Patreon and I asked what people saw of when they saw these colors and I got so many great suggestions but I could only pick a few of them to fit into one drawing. So Seely, and I hope I said that right, suggested a fairy fox surrounded by leaves and mushrooms. Crafty Origins suggested a traveler fox with a backpack and a snail friend and Carolina and Cassie they wanted to see some colorful flowers. So a traveler fox with a backpack and a snail friend and some mushrooms, leaves and colorful flowers it is. Thank you so much for the great suggestions. I really want to involve you guys more in my work at least for the YouTube videos so I think Patreon can be really helpful for that. So just a very quick little Patreon promotion. Yes, I am on Patreon now, finally. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking for coloring pages and there will be a lot of coloring pages over at Patreon. Here's a little example for you who are curious. And you can also get access to bonus videos and voting polls and behind the scene content, more cats. Or you can help me to come up with ideas like with this fox drawing. It is just a good way to support me and my work if that is something that you wish to do. There is a link to my page in the description box below so feel free to check that out. It would make me a very happy cat if you did so thank you. So I used the other part of the illustration board that was left after cutting off that other piece for the swatches so it is a little smaller but I really like the format and there was no orange marker to use for the 
boxes first so I simply just made a base layer with one of the lighter natural color tones and then I layered the orange color pencil on top of that. I wanted the marker underneath the color pencil to create a little more depth. There is a little bit of texture to the paper so only adding color pencil would make it look a little too textured side to side with the markers. I am not a super huge fan of the color pencil texture in some areas though, like on the hands or paws. I tried to make them a little darker using the brown and the black color pencil, but it looked a little strange and the color pencil, they didn't layer that well on top of each other, unfortunately. So the feet of the fox, I just colored black with a pen, even if I think it turned out a little too bold, but it looked a lot better than just having the black color pencil. I actually really like how this one turned out. I think the pose is so cute. The little fox looking up at the snail on top of the flower. I actually think the pants are my favorite part of this drawing. I really like the texture from the marker and the shading from the color pencil. And the shirt is also so cute. Also, no cat drawing this time either. What is this? You got a little bit of Sally the cat though, but she has been through a lot lately, a lot of visits to the vet. She had some trouble with her teeth. It is a chronic disease, which we can't really do anything about, but we tried to make it a little better for her at least. But unfortunately, this little dental disease led to a big abscess growing on her chin and it burst and it was nasty. I'm sorry for talking about it, but don't worry. She seems just fine now. She's happy and spirited just as usual, but yeah, she's been through a lot. Anyway, here we have this little piece. I think it turned out so cute. It is happy and cheerful. I had a lot of fun with these art supplies. It was a very interesting experience drawing on this illustration board. I look forward to experiment a bit more with markers on the one that I have left. Let me know which one of these drawings that you like the most. Thank you so much Smart Art, for this box and thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more art and videos and cats and I hope I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats! Bye!